My name's Neil Short and uh, we're near the south coast in a place called Ringwood, Hampshire. Just come back from Iraq and just on leave at the moment. I've got a few weeks off. I chose to be a commando because I thought it was to be a be the best soldier that was about. As soon as I left training, I was on guard duty for a few months just to get used to being in a with the other commandos and then I was sent out to Afghanistan uh, with four or five commando. Uh, we were right there for three months. A month later I was sent out to Iraq so uh, I haven't really had time to put my feet down yet. They can give you all the training in the world but it's having to cope with certain situations that you never thought would arise. Um, I was very close to getting captured by Iraqi forces. Some of them, some of the Iraqi military, they don't take prisoners, they uh, kind of mutilate you and do strange things. So. Mm. At one point I was pretty scared at not there. So, I don't know if uh, if there is a god, but if there is, that day he was certainly looking over me. Now I'm back after having a near miss. Everything, everything, just the noises, the calmness, everything. It's good to be home. I don't like rude people. I mean, I try my best not to be rude myself, but rude people. People that always think they're uh, better. No. There's no need. Walking away alive in Iraq. The, uh, the night after the, the 30th, the night of the 30th. Just to, just to see all the faces that were with me. Near the end, I suppose. It's, uh, I think that'd be a time of being unhappy. Um, everything, I think. Every day's been a different day. So, if I keep on living, Another day. I'm happy with that. Everybody has uh, bad things happen to them, but uh, I think you make it worse by being depressed and upset about it. It's at the end of the day, it's life. Things do go wrong. Bad things do happen. There's always going to be bad things in the world. So. Don't dwell on things. And I try. I try not to be unhappy. Um, not specifically, but I've thought about that quite a lot recently. How I could have ch how, how I could have changed things and how things may have been different. I try and forget about stuff like that. You can change anything you want in lifetime, but it doesn't mean it's the right move. My friends and my friends and family becoming hurt. I think that's, that's my biggest fear. I don't really wish for anything. No, just just to stay happy. I think stay relaxed. I think that's my big wish. Sometimes able to laugh all the time. I think that's that's the best thing about what I do. It's, uh, we get to have a, a lot of laughs with each other, the things we do, and situations we get in, and the mistakes we make. We can still sit there and laugh about it in the end. I think that's that's worked for me. Love's a strange thing. 
I when I left in was it January, um, I was with a girlfriend for four and a half years. But I think it was the lifestyle of my job in the end that finished it all off. But love's a love's very blind. Very often next. Yeah, it's, it's not only very stressful for me, it's very stressful for the partner. It's, they don't know when you're going to come back, if you do come back. Don't really know. No, I don't really know. Huh? I'm open-minded. I think when, when you die, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything further on. I believe that it, that's it. I believe maybe when I was uh, when I was in Iraq, I felt that uh, some friends of mine that have died, I felt that they were watching me and looking over me. But who knows? Per mer, per terran. It's uh, Latin for by, uh, it's English and by sea, by land. It's a, it's a motto from the Royal Marines history. It's just a, just a state that it doesn't matter where or wherever you go, you can still you can still fight by, on the sea, on the land, in the air, mountains, valleys, rivers, everywhere. What do I think? What do people see the future bringing? That's a good question. 